Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this one, we have a new live streaming system that we're gonna be putting together. So let me take you along here with me with the parts list and let's get going. folks, AJ the CEO of the year. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So this is gonna be a build for my dad's first pastorate. Um, Chestnut Grove Baptist Church. I'm actually gonna be putting this together and this is gonna be a revision to the live streaming bundle that I've talked about a long time ago. Um, I think this is honestly probably gonna be the last iteration of this once I finally get my back order of the A10 Mini whenever that decides to want to come in. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna just go uh, traditional with what we're gonna do, but we're gonna um, revisit, maybe change out some parts and all this. Cause now what we want to do with them is, as of right now, I believe the pastor's wife is live streaming with a iPad in the front row. So what we wanna do is put in a camera that's gonna have great autofocus featuring, put that in the back or wherever it's gonna be located at, and then um, we're gonna also put a computer there so that they can record the service temporarily and upload it later. Um, also, the system needs to be able to do some editing. And I actually have another video coming up soon about different alternatives um, for video editors outside of DaVinci Resolve that are free. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but then also, I think they may be into trying to make DVDs and stuff like that. But mainly, this is going to be a live streaming and video editing system. Um, so that's what we're going to be putting together. So this needs a little bit more power than what we normally do. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. All right. So we are here on PC part picker and what we're going to do is kind of build out. Um, I don't want to say this is going to be a 4k editing system. Um, but I want to kind of be proactive and what it needs to be able to render. Mainly, this is probably gonna be 720 to 1080 video, um, most likely, so I'm just gonna stick in that range. So we're not gonna have to go over and above with what we're doing. So let's go ahead and start this out. All right, so let's go ahead and build a system here. And what I'm thinking from a processor is, I again, I don't wanna have to drop a graphics card in there but again it's not going to be very intensive what they're doing mainly they're streaming i mean recording and posting just the sermon so what i'm going to stick with is maybe the 3400 um, g with the the thread count as well as the embedded um, graphics that will serve them well and I know that works because I know my brother-in-law I built him a system maybe about three years ago that has a 2200 G and he's editing with that without any issues so I know that'll be more than enough to handle the little video stuff that they're doing as well as future live streaming don't have to worry about a cooler because this comes with one um, and y'all already know what motherboard I'm gonna go with. I just haven't found anything that's actually um, better than that right now, and that's DS3H. Um, I actually just put another one of those in our live streaming, well, actually our pro presenter system that died. So good rock solid motherboard. And it has some extra um, PCIe 16 slots. So if I wanted to add a graphics card to it, I have the space for it, but I'm not gonna be using that right now. All right, memory, I'm gonna go with a 16 gigabyte kit. Um, Corsair is what I've been using recently. Uh, now, let me see if I can go up to 3200. Uh, let's see what prices we're getting on that. Okay, this is actually 67, so I'll go with this. This Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit. All right, and from storage, I'm gonna use an NVMe drive and I'm gonna go with 512 as my starting. And that two. And I 
let's see. Now I normally, I've been using the, the silicone power, but I also use this Sabrin. Now I could go with the Samsung and they, I mean, I'm not gonna knock them, they're great. That's what I have in my home system. But I mean, they are a whole lot more pricey um, in comparison. So this is, I wanna deliver power, but at the same time, I don't wanna break the bank because I do have a budget that I have to work inside of. All right, so like this, um, this is the one terabyte, but this 512 is around $70. But the silicon power is what I have in my church. That is around 60. Now this 4.0, I am interested in those, but I mean, you have to actually have the system to take advantage of that. So I'm gonna go with the silicon power um, A80, because I've actually installed that. That's actually in one of my systems. All right, so, and then I'm gonna add an additional one terabyte mechanical drive just for storage. So if they happen to be recording or something like that, they could always save their stuff there. And, oh, I'm gonna go with this Barracuda two terabyte and it's only $50. Yes, yes, we'll go with that. All right, now again, we don't need to worry about video card because we use an APU in this. Um, case I will come back to, but so far we're only at 169 watts. So from a power supply, I'm gonna go with uh, EVGA 500 watt, give us some extra space if we ever needed to go any higher. Um, I'm gonna do 80 plus, let's go for 80 plus gold and let's see what we can get. And our wattage, we want to be at 500. And let's sort this by price. All right, this is about $45. So we will go with that. I don't need it to be non-modular. That's perfectly fine. Not a big deal. Um, op optical drive, I'm not 100% sure if they need that, but I do have a drive left over from when I redid our live streaming system. So I have another DVD drive burner. So I'm just gonna throw that in because it's just sitting here. Um, this is gonna be Windows Home and I'm still, I'm not paying this price for it. So I'm actually, uh, I'll just conclude it for right now. But if you check out my other video that I'll link up here, I'll show you how to get Windows for a cheaper price. All right, and we're also gonna go with um, software, all of the software that we're using is going to be free for video editing. I'm tentatively going to put DaVinci Resolve, but there's some other softwares that I'm still testing that I'm going to put this on, which one I think will be easier. I'm also going to be using, I forgot the name of it, but it's kind of like a free burn, DVD burning software I'll put on there. <clears throat> and then we're going to be using OBS as well. OBS is what we're going to be using to record um, there. All right, no external drives. And a monitor, the one I'm gonna use is a Spectre monitor that is surprisingly good and it also has <clears throat> speakers built into it. So that saves on some extra right there and I think it is a 24 inch. Yeah, this is actually it right here. All right, now let's go to our case. I've been playing around with some Corsairs, but um, my, my theme one is the Cooler Master, which I mentioned before, and that's the MB600L um, without the optical drive. So I think I'm gonna just stick with that. Like that it has a um, basement to hide all the cables, so I don't need to worry about going to a modular type of uh, power supply, which saves us on some money. And we're at around 667. That's just on the system itself. Oh, and I didn't include the keyboard and mouse and all that other stuff, which I add about $15. It's not a big deal. And I prefer Logitech. And I think it's the MK, yeah, it does. The MK120. Yep, $15. All right, so that's our whole system. 
monitor and everything. Now, the one thing I did not include is our capture device. We're gonna be using standard DeckLink Mini Recorder 4K. Um, so I'm gonna just randomly put that in here as a part. All right, we have our deck link here. So our full system right now is right at about $900. For the next part of this, we obviously need a camera. So um, even when I was doing some other research, nothing is beating the R800, um, the Canon Vixia R800 in this price range right now that I need to stay within the confines. So I got the white model because I normally get the black model and it's just different. And it was actually $10 cheaper, um, the exact same model. But then I got a kind of a bubble low, I mean, um, a more, a smoother tripod um, that's a little more costly than what I normally would do. But again, the other ones, they're just stiff and jerk around. So I want it to be very comfortable, even though I think most of the time, once the image is set, the camera is set, it's not gonna be really doing a lot of adjusting. So that's around, around 250. So let's go ahead and let's revisit the final of everything here. All right, so we're right at 1127. Now I could save $50 here if I went with the regular 4K, um, Decklink mini recorder, the non 4K version. And if we dropped it down to maybe even the 2400G, I could probably do that because the 2400G will still get the same performance that they're gonna be using. Um, I don't really think they're gonna be stressing this out um, in what they're gonna be using. So I could always make those changes, but I think this is what we're gonna be going with and I need to actually print this out. And this is gonna be the system that we're gonna be building for Chestnut Grove um, by next week because I got to go and <laughs> go train them on and set it up on the 30th. So anyway, that's about it. Um, I will take y'all along with me when we put everything in place and do the training with everybody. So again, I hope y'all like this. Um, I will have a link to the description of all in the description for all the items that we're using. And again, this is going to be for basic video editing, live streaming, as well as um, a little bit of recording and we may be doing some DVD production. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what this system is going to give us. And based off of what they're gonna be using, I think this will set them up in the future because again, what we could do is if they decided to add more cameras, we can throw in an A10 mini, another camera, and now we could take that capture card out and it's gonna just be using USB into it. And that would add $300 for the A10 mini and then maybe another $200 for every other camera you decided to use. Um, but anyway, that's about it. So if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video. Later.